Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Today we're going to be making particles follow along a path. You may already know how to do this or you may not. But here we go. So first of all, we're going to start off with a sphere. Nope. First of all, we're going to start off with switching our, that on. Okay, so let's create a sphere. This is what our particles is going to come from. Next, we're going to create a curve, Bezier curve. Just bring it out. Um, we're going to rotate it on the Z90. And um, we're also going to rotate it on the Y90. Okay, I'll just take it in a little bit. Go into edit mode. And then you can grab this end vertice and just create a shape. If you want to add more um, curves, just press E to extend. And yeah, just keep going until you're happy with your the curve that you've got. Um, that will do me something like that maybe just bring that one out a little bit more and make the curve there we go i'm happy with that so next what we've got to do is go in to physics and add a force field um, we need to change the force type to curve guide and next we need to add our particles so we'll select our sphere go into particles add we've got our admitter and now hopefully <laughs> fingers crossed when we press the play button our particles will come all the way down our curve there we go so now we've got that, what we can do is edit this because I just want to make it a little bit longer there, a little bit of more of a curve and just bring those two along. This one here, we're just going to pull that out, just give it a bit more, kind of like that. So we'll just go back to the beginning. I think that one needs to come out a bit more and that one does as well. Yeah, that's better. Give it more of a nice curve to go along. Um, right, what we can do now is add a, another sphere so we can add a shape to, and let's come out of edit mode first. We need to add a new mesh, which is, we're gonna create a UV sphere. Just gonna make that a bit smaller. Now in our uh, particle emitter there, we need to go to render and change render as to object and then select the object which I think is sphere one. So as you can see we've got little little particles but what we can do is just scale them up here. Now, if you want them all to be different sizes, just below that you've got scale randomness. So they're all going to be different sizes. And we can add on here, we can add our text, our material. And I'm just going to add in. I'm just going to chuck in an emission, make it glow, maybe red. Chuck strength up like so. Let's just chuck this down. What you can do if you use EV, you can select bloom so you're nice and glowing red. Nice red, well, that's more pink. So you can just change. There we go. That's looks pink <laughs> and you can have whatever color oh, that's 
Yeah, I like that. The blue. But you can have whatever, whatever colour you like. I quite like that. And then we can just hide that. So there we go. We can you can mess about with the curve. You can mess about with the particles. Just mess about here. You got your scale, scale randomness. Um, if you do use, if you only use cycles, I mean you can. Um, where's our camera? Let's press number zero. Let's so that's where our camera is. We'll just go to view, camera to view, and then we could change this to wherever we like. We can just change that to maybe. There we go, so it's out of the way. So we've got a nice little particle thing going on. Okay, and then if we hit F12, mine's rendered over here. Okay, and then if we go into composition, we'll hit use nodes shift a and e, 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 where is it view where's the view oh output um, viewer so what we can do is just chuck this into there and then the image should come up behind okay and then what we can do is add in our filter and oh, you can have all sorts You can have all sorts going on like you could get really creative with this but I don't want the Boca glow oops I don't want that I just want shift a filter I want a glare so you can add a glare in if you're using cycles obviously this is post so after after your render you can come into composition and then just add in the glare, you can change it. I think fog is the better one. Um, and then you can, if we just bring our render over, just make that bit smaller so we can see everything that's going on. So there's our render. And then as soon as you take your glare, chuck it into there, the your render will have the glow, glow effect. So you can actually, let's just make that bit smaller so we can see everything. Um, yeah, so fog glow. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, I do like that. Um, as you can see, you can pretty much do whatever you want. It's pretty, I love it. I think it's amazing. But there we go. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, as I say, just mess around with the settings and come out with some fantastic abstract art. You know, you could probably sell that if you're a, an artist. <laughs> you never know. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. And we'll see you on the next video. Ta-da for now.